Hi folks, uh, I welcome you all to uh, like a session on Industry Connect series. So this is the 16th episode of our Industry Connect series uh, presented by Seeker Mentor. I am Aniruddha. Uh, at Seeker Mentor, we help folks upskill and transition into their very first uh, PM role. So today we have Rahul, who is a PM at IBM Software Labs. So he's been in this space for over five years now, and he will be sharing his thoughts on product-led growth. Uh, folks, please uh, feel free to uh, drop in your questions in the chats uh, during the session so that uh, we can address them in the last 15 to 20 minutes when we'll be having a Q&A. Uh, uh, so Rahul, I'd request you to maybe give a brief intro about yourself and maybe start off with this. Share my screen and then we will go, for, go ahead. Today's sure. session is on product-led growth. And uh, let me introduce myself first. Mm, yeah, so basically uh, I did my engineering in uh, 2013 and I did uh, that in EC, then I moved to uh, Infosys and all all these years I've been working with different tech giants, like if I work with Infosys, I work with ATCS, I work with Mercedes, uh, I worked with uh, IBM two times now. So I started as a developer and then moved out, moved from developer to PM role. And this is the why I moved to developer to PM role is like my passion towards marketing, finance and sales. I keep on, uh, so I, I was very keen to know about how the marketing works. I know how to run the marketing campaigns from a start of my career, from a start of my career and then also sales side. So that helped me to move into a product role and PLD is the kind of role where you work with the marketing sales and all the different channels other than engineering as well. Uh, so PLD is very role, which is very, I'm very keen to role, join the PLD team. So I belong to Jaipur. I spent over uh, 21 years in Jaipur, uh, did my schooling, engineering, everything in Jaipur. And yeah so i enjoy being uh building connections uh so you can connect me over linkedin so let's uh come to back to our topic so uh, so i what i will be covering i will be giving a brief of our what plg is uh, what exactly the plg is what and how this works and what the difference between current current scenario of sales led growth and plg and as a product manager what is your role when you have come as a plg product manager and what are the benefits and examples of plg so start with uh, what the exactly the plg is so plg basically is uh, when your product itself is growing and how it's growing it's uh, user driven flow uh, like project sell, product sell itself for an example let's take it uh, with an example uh, you are using whatsapp uh, you do not need anyone uh, why you are using whatsapp because someone told you to use the whatsapp because it's very user friendly user friendly and uh, most of the users are using whatsapp so it's who who uh, advise you to use the WhatsApp is a user of the WhatsApp. There is no sales team. There is no marketing team involved in between. So it's a direct product that is selling from the user itself. So what is going, who, who is letting us grow in the product? Same, uh, this is the best example of PLG and how it's, and in the PLG, there is a no, no need of sale sale when a sales uh, sale people sales people or uh, or a sales campaign nothing like that you need to be uh, perfect with the product and you product will be the center point and the main center point of the of the, all the things when you say all the things customer acquire activate retains and all the things will be done on the basis of product only if your product is good if your product is customer uh, satisfaction satisfactory then yeah your product itself will be selling itself and how how some of the things we need to do in the plg process like 
premium free trial basically uh, how it went how it works in the premium and the free trial i will be covering in the next slide and how the free trial and the premium works in the pld scenario so yeah major things uh, which we uh, do in the pld user user acquisitions and then after acquisition we made it to the buy and expand then then retention and all these kind of thing we do in the PLG and how the PLG works let's be here so first of all our, when you see this slide there is a funnel this funnel is there uh, it shows it shows you about awareness acquisition activation retention reference revenue so what what exactly it ha uh, it works is like whenever a user I'm, I'm giving a very basic idea Whenever a user comes to your uh, product, uh, then user should use that product without purchasing that. This is the main motive of the PLG. And for this, we use uh, freemium or free trial or something like 10 day trial, 15 day trial, 30 day trial, so that user can be familiar with the product and can find the value of the product. And after finding the value of the product, they itself purchase it. Uh, like for an example, uh, I created this slides from the Canva. So I, uh, first of all, I did a free trial of a Canva. Then I like the can like, I like the Canva and then, then I purchased the Canva for a year. So that's how there is no sales people involved. There is, uh, there is no sales people. There is, I have not, uh, gone through any marketing ad or any marketing campaigns. Uh, I've not gone through that. So that, that's how the PLG. PLG main motive is to give the user a real experience of a product and let him decide if he need that particular product or not. So how this, uh, how this model works. First of all, there is a four or five phases. Uh, first of all, there is a, uh, discover and retention, basically the awareness. And when you say discover, uh, you need marketing support in that, uh, there is, uh, product net growth is all always works uh, closely with the marketing uh, why you need marketing support in the discovery to let people uh, know about your product through different SEO or different uh, campaigns uh, google ads and all so that user come to the product page first of all and then after the landing on the on the particular particular product page there is a process of learn when we say learn is like you have enough documentation or enough explanation on the website about the product uh, enough uh, enough uh, enough points of uh, all the usage you are doing in the product uh, so that the user go to the trial and when the user find that this product might be useful for me let's try for a 15 days or 15 day trial or 30 day trial then the second phase comes the trial and when when the user is in trial trial there is a uh, then the thing is user is able to explore all the features which we are trying to sell for an example there is any product and we have 20 features in it and now our focus is the 20 features should be so self-explanatory that user comes to uh, the um, go to the trial and then easily can adapt that thing, adapt that you know, features and explore all the all the uh, all the feature we are trying to uh, showcase to the user so after after second third phase will be the customer satisfaction when when i say customer satisfaction is when the user comes to the point where uh, aha you can say aha moment of the product when the aha moments come of the product like user will be fully satisfied yeah i need this product and i'm very happy with the product it, it solves the problem which i'm trying to solve then then the thing is the customer is satisfied fully and then he decided he or she decided to purchase the particular product and that and that the when the buy happen of the of our product and then with after the buy there might be there might be a inter, um, inner sales or inner expansion of the product like you need uh, some more feature then you can have more uh, more uh, buying options that can uh, that is known as expansion 
and the third thing is the customer is satisfied uh, now the customer uh, is uh, on board uh, on the product and it is he uh, or she is fully satisfied with the product and he is use he is using it and for an example my initial example now the customer for an example i am using uh, whatsapp i am happy with it so i will be recommending i will be advocate of whatsapp to my friends that the phase when when the product led growth is really you did a really a uh, product led growth then that 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 your that is your milestone to achieve your product is like that that people is start recommending to different people so here here the whole product led growth comes uh, with this advocacy so what is the difference between product led growth and the sales led growth the sales led growth it happens currently what happens the sales led growth is when you when you uh, you create a product and then you uh, when your sales team go to the different clients or different potential customers then they try to sell a demo to them and and they uh, acquire and after a demo they acquire and monetize the customer at that time and until the monetization until they so sell any any product there is no engagement when i say engagement that the customer is not able to use the product until they pay and then after after so the customer is in the in that particular cycle that he or she is just make sure about the features which the sales people have told him so this is the sales led model and then what the product led model product led growth what we do we acquire the customers we acquire the customers with the help of different marketing campaigns and we engage them with the help of free trial and we give the free trial we do not monetize that particular time and we give a free trial using uh, free trial and then the customer loves the loves the product and find the enough value to convert them convert into so after the customer comes and find that this product is useful and yeah i need this and they they buy it with no brainer they will buy it obviously they, if they need it they will buy it so there is no need of sales people uh, in this in this model and we do not need sales and we need our product will be the main center point who is selling the product uh, selling itself yeah we will be needing marketing people to uh, to generate initial traffic to our uh, our landing pages and and then we do not need uh, of sales we need marketing and we need a very self explanatory product like when i join when i do a free trial i don't need a sales people to help me i need the product itself giving it free tutorials or free or free guidance or free documentation or free walk me tours of a product then then uh, i don't basically this is the main motive that your product itself will doing all the things you don't need any third third party uh, sales or any support or any customer success you don't need anything like that you need our product only doing all the things by itself so that's the way of the product led uh, model works the different between the sales and marketing is uh, how we engage with the product we do not engage uh, we do not engage uh, without without uh, we engage basically we do not engage in that that way that uh, we first we monetize and then engage we engage in that way that uh, free uh, come to our product use it free if you find the value you you, you pay us any anything you want you can you can surely stop me there yeah so as a product manager what is your role what what exactly the product led growth product manager do uh, uh, so basically product led manager is working with different sales team uh, marketing team success engineering uh, product uh, what normal product manager generally works with the engineer more over the engineering engineering team and uh, more over the different stakeholders what the requirement is and, and then implementing it but in the product led growth you are you are not you are not directly working uh, with the roadmaps uh, roadmaps of product uh, you are you will be working with engineering team but not in that way uh, uh, there will be a different product manager who is taking care of the roadmap the product led growth product manager will never never be taking the uh, taking care of the roadmap of engineering uh, of the development team
so product manager will be involved will uh, will be involved in marketing for an example uh, now I, do, I if my product is not having enough traffic enough traffic then then my whole plg will not work so i need to be there with work with marketing team to improve my product in in the terms of if some seos are not working some content are missing uh, when i say discover and learn page my first slide discover and learn can be only possible when there is proper seo and proper uh proper data on the landing pages uh, when i say data is proper content about the product and how to use it and all all the things will be there so that the user can easily learn what we are what our product is so that we that product manager need to work with the marketing team because he is responsible for that particular thing uh, uh, and second thing is uh, customer success when when the customer on board on board for example if someone trial some trial a user comes to our product and is yeah, and uh, it on board it on boards so but uh, then we have to take care of the of the customer satisfaction what what need to be done Johnny, and somewhat the product led growth we have some support of sales as well like uh, for in a bigger company like uh, in bigger companies what happens we uh, there are bigger clients very bigger client or very very orthodox kind of people because uh, that time we need some of the sales support as well to nurture them uh, and, uh, during this process to help them to achieve the uh, achieve the customer satisfaction yeah so that's a very minimal sales support and then it is this is not ideal with the smaller company in the in the bigger companies we do have some of the sales support as well yeah so what exactly the day day looks for product manager is is like your main motive is customer satisfaction and for that you need to analyze the data then for example how many users are coming how there is a funnel uh, how many users are coming to your product and from product page and the, from the landing page from landing page how many users are coming going to the uh, to the trial and after the trial how many users are going going to the different milestone or different what they are doing in the, uh, throughout the 15 days trial or 30 day trial what they are doing over there are they achieving uh, all the things which we try to uh, try which we ideally uh, ideally Think that this will be achieved by the user are they doing all the milestones and after the milestone are they converting into the paid customers <coughs> if not what the problem if not what the problem in every phase if not what the problem and what analyze the data analyze the data and play and give and from the analyzer analyze sorry and make insights if you if you if you need some customer feedbacks ask uh, ask uh, support team to uh, to connect with the sub with the user and try to understand what why they are not uh, choosing the uh, our product what the difference they have found what the what the thing they did it and then after the user on board on board or as a paid customer then we need to take care of the all the data analytics how, how the things are going for the for the paid users are they are they enough satisfied enough uh, motivated to our product that they will they will use uh, they will be uh, there will be a retention as well as advocacy of our product so that kind of thing is uh, what the product manager's role is and mainly focus is uh, our is to a uh, competitive pricing uh, and onboarding experience when i when i uh, when i already given you example john that it should be a self-serve model. Basically, you don't need anyone else to help you on board. Uh, product itself will be helping you. And frictionless uh, product experience is basically the product is uh, the user can use all the feature of the product without without any hustle or any any kind of support, any support ticket, or any help without any help from uh, from anyone. Yeah. So that what the product manager take care and what uh, what major major things you use a, a lot product led growth is lots of data analytics lots of tools like Google Analytics, uh, Power BI, uh, then you use uh, Amplitude, 
my mix panel and then you also interact uh, parallelly with the product manager who take care of the uh, roadmap so you discuss you, uh, you you do the instrumentations as well uh, you do when i say instrumentation you do uh, you do uh, particular reports uh, so that the major changes which you find that these are some of the insight the product need to be work in that way then you need to convey that particular thing to the different product man product manager who is taking care of the development thing and then this is what the exactly the rule is so uh, what are the benefits of product led growth so you already have, you must be uh, knowing all the benefits the lower cost you do not need any sales people you do not need any sales campaign the uh, so the customer acquisition cost is all uh, always very low and then the customer is an a whole process and the whole process comes like you need to be customer satisfactory from the day one so by the process of pld when you uh, when you implement the pld after one or two years the product rate, when the output product after one or two years will be the perfect product which is which is satisfying the customer because your main focus area main kpi is customer satisfaction nothing else your main so and that help the customer satisfaction all all the things are uh, all the scale accelerated growth word of mouth reduced customer growth cost that is done with the help of customer satisfaction and customer satisfaction is done through the different different data analysis different feedback loops uh different insights or different implementations different different experimentations different a b testing uh these kind of things uh which which happen regularly in the pld so these are the some of the points the benefits of the lower cost customer satisfaction satisfaction uh, accelerated growth and the word of mouth as as i taken the example of whatsapp and the reduced customer loss coming back to next slide coming to next slide what are the companies with work on the PLD model and how they are grow? So what happens? PLD initially PLD when you implement PLD, it initially a slow process. Uh, when you do not have numbers, there will be no advocacy and there will be less users who are going satisfied. But sooner or later when you implement the plc for almost three four years or two three years two three years minimum then product is already uh more and more customers are already satisfied and they they work as the advocates as the adv advocate of your, uh, of your product and also the good brand image building is happening in parallel to what you are doing the customer is also creating a brand for you and that what after a few years after two three years the exponential growth comes for an example slack uh, service now sophify or calendly typeform grammarly how they uh, gram for an example grammarly you must be using grammarly calendly or notions also slack also these are, these are the most common common example i have written here over here go through any of the any of thing nobody has asked you no no campaign you have hit to come to use this product why you use currently because everyone was using and it was very it was very easy to use slack it's like giving you free free trials and then uh, free trials and you use it and you are implemented and you are <laughs> you find it very very uh, very satisfactory other than the competitor like meet or or Microsoft Meets or, or or any any more channels, yeah. And type form you find it very uses. Uh, it's uses is very. Uh, you can implement it uh, in different type. Need Google? Do, you do not need Google Form. It is very easy to implement, and its UI is far better than Google Form. So these are some of the points. But the main thing is what they did is come come to my product and use it free. For example, in type form also, I use it free. And when, when I use it free, I found it, it is far better than the Google, uh, Google, 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 uh, Google 
Google Form. So then I I come to the product and then I purchase a purchase a uh, one year plan or two year plan. I will do it in that way. In the same an example as Shopify. So Shopify give you fourteen day trial, and when you use the product, you know the Shopify is the market leader. And but you when you user comes to the product and use the use it and satisfy, then he will pay the um, the user <coughs> pay the Shopify what they want, and and. By the implementing of PLD, uh, small startups, small startups like all the all these are very small startups only initially, so they do not need lots of fund hiring a sales people, sales team, and sales conversion are very low. They call hundred people and and then one one mostly after thousand in thousand there is a two three conversion and then let's say lots of lots of uh, money is involved in the sales in the sales uh, process and the sales sometimes uh, sell the product which is not which is not relevant but they sell in the over the overselling happens but in the product net growth there is no overselling the product you use the product you like it and then you buy it no brainer so yeah that's that's the example of product led growth company and in the i will i have not mentioned yet but in the future you see this plg product led growth or product growth or the growth of growth product managers will be in the boom uh, when you say why i'm saying in a boom this is the real product management is uh, when you take care of the road maps uh, when you take care of a product road map or you take care of the engineering team you are more over a project manager you are more over a project manager, but in the product led growth, uh, product manager is you are taking care of everything. You are taking care of the marketing, uh, the you are taking care of the customer satisfaction over the over the over the product and how they are coming. You are taking care of the uh, of the development team as well. What they should be uh, developing, what next feature should be because you are in the market and you are analyzing. You are doing the competitive analysis as well. You are doing uh, when you say competitive analysis. It not initially, you are not while creating the product. Not your role to do competitive analysis, but during during your uh, customer uh, customer analysis, uh, you talk with the uh, with the sales uh, with the different customer feedbacks. You come, you came to know that uh, that yeah, these kind of product they are going, they are not using our product, but they are going to this particular product uh, because they like this kind of feature. And then you go to that particular feature. What that feature is. And then you come come back to the uh, our product team or the, that particular segment of product manager who taking care of the um, product uh, development. And then you convey that these are the things and these are the data points with we support uh, with uh, these are the data points why we think we, it, this will work and these are the some of the data points which supports us. So that's the way the how the PLG will be. Um, in a very big boom in the next coming years, and with the help of AI, because analytics uh, can can be done. You know, number chart can be shown to you, but the insight and the data decision will be done will be done by a product manager only. So that's it. I'm done. You can connect me on LinkedIn, and I think. Um, if you have anything to ask, you can shortly. Uh, Rahul, uh, Urmo had a question prior to this session. Actually, he asked that he wanted to know how to assess a scenario or a product, whether uh, we really want to go for a product-led growth or do we go for a sales-led growth? How to uh, decide in that scenario and uh, should we discard it or should we adopt it? So would you like to answer that question? Of course, there are scenarios where uh, where cannot apply a product led growth every time. For an example, when when there is not enough high quality data for experiment, uh, when I say uh, not enough data, like some of the things, some of the old or old or some of the complex industries where uh, instrumentation of different different thing cannot be possible. When I say instrumentation, instrumentation is that process. 
uh, where you uh, you and uh, you take the data from that particular thing and how the user are going how the user are behaving on the basis of instrument how amplitude work how mix panel work in the behind in the development team team you instrument some of the code thing, code so that they give the data to the amplitude and the and the mix or mix panel so some of the industries where you cannot apply of these kind of these these kind of code changes you cannot take the data from it and your your segment is large enough where where very few or uh, for an example you are selling something you are selling a product where you know only ten or twenty player in the market or who are who will be using our your product and there you do not need a a product led growth there you obviously they will you will be selling to that twenty people only. Majorly in B two B and B two C, I think B two C in every every product should be a PLC. In the B two B business, there are some of the scenarios where where the decision uh, where where the buy decision. For an example, you are buying a thousand dollar, uh, not a thousand five 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 hundred k five hundred k product. There are in the B two B there are product like five hundred k or on one million one million, and that. That particular product cannot be buy without the support of sales team. You can make a product user friendly, but there is a decision maker who is in the top of the funnel. Now, for an example, a CEO or a director or a VP who, who who take care of this decision that I need it or I not it, and he will not be using our product. And that time there will be a sales person that will be involved. So that's the reason. Uh, Many times you need sales as well. You need a sales as well. Uh, uh, Urmo had another question, maybe a doubt. Uh, he mentioned in uh, mentioned that in the chat. Maybe do you like to speak up? Maybe Urmo. Uh, no, no. I, I, I thank you for the answer. It was very, very, very good and explaining. Uh, I had just a comment that for me it seems that service now is not PLG company at least anymore because uh, on their website basically you cannot get the free trial or premium and you have just to contact with the sales. Yeah, that is not a model of the uh, PLG. But when... I have I have one additional question that uh, regarding the matrix, uh, uh, what are the key matrix uh, as you as a uh, as a PLG product manager, what you are following, or maybe some recommendations that uh, what what are the key things what you are you are uh, following? Yeah, probably they are related with the conversion, but maybe something else. Uh, yeah. So first of all, uh, activation rate. How many how many uh, customer who are going to the trial going to the aha moment? Uh, aha moment is basically when the user is. Uh, already use all of the all of the important features we are, which you are trying to sell so that that is the most important matrix because you can't you can't have a uh, thousand trial user but but no one is going till the end of the product then it is of no use obviously they will not purchase without going to the all the important milestones and and second thing is free to paid conversion you have a thousand customers who are doing a trial and how many getting converted to the paid and month on month basis or quarter on quarter basis you need to analyze it and you need to work over the insights and customer acquisitions uh with the help and how many customer acquisitions <coughs> turn rate during uh, turn rate after the after for example a user user comes to a paid user and then after a few months he's going out of the out of the funnel of our of our, basically out of the non paid non paid then what the churn rates average revenue per user these kind of things thank you uh, okay uh, so i guess there are no further questions so I would say that uh, thank you all for joining in and also thank you Rahul for taking out time and doing this demystifying product led growth for us. I'll share uh, Rahul's uh, LinkedIn profile link with you all in our Slack community.